Spezielle Verben gehören und gefallen. Two very common and important German verbs, which are sometimes a little bit confusing for German students. Let me show you what makes them so special and how to use them. Hallo and welcome back to your German teacher. In case you are new here, willkommen. Ich heiße Luzi, my name is Luzi and I'm here to help you to improve your German. In this video we will talk about these two special verbs, gehören und gefallen. But a little information, an important information up front, both of these two verbs, they require Dativ. These are both verbs which you have to use the dative case. Let's start with gehören. Gehören is to belong and is actually the easier one of those two. Wir fangen an mit der Konjugation, Conjugation. Gehören ist ein regelmäßiges Verb. Gehören is a regular verb. So the conjugation is nothing special about it. In simple present, we have the same endings as for normal regular verbs. But special about this verb is usually when you use gehören, you talk about things. You can use it for people as well, but people don't belong to people, so it's kind of weird. You can maybe, I don't know, in poems or in some romantic letter, you can say, ich gehöre dir, I belong to you, but this is not really common. So usually you talk about things, meaning you talk either about one thing or two things. So you only use the conjugation third person singular and plural. Zum Beispiel, Singular, ein Beispiel, das Handy gehört mir. Das Handy, das Handy gehört mir, the cell phone belongs to me. Oder ein Beispiel im Plural, die Stifte gehören ihr. Die Stifte gehören ihr, the pens belong to her. Now let, let's look at this a little bit closer. Das Handy gehört mir, das Handy ist Subjekt. Gehört ist das Verb und mir ist das Dativobjekt, which is actually a dative personal pronoun in this case. So, what you see here, when we use gehören, the thing, the object, not the object, the thing itself is the subject, is a nominative, and the object is the person and is in dative. Also, das Handy gehört mir, the cell phone belongs to me. The subject is the thing. Andere Beispiele, zum Beispiel, das Fahrrad gehört meiner Mutter. Das Fahrrad gehört meiner Mutter. The bicycle belongs to my mother. Oder ein Beispiel im Plural, die Schuhe gehören den Kindern. Die Schuhe gehören den Kindern. The shoes belong to the kids, to the children. Oder eine Frage, gehört die Tasche dir? Gehört die Tasche dir? Does this bag belong to you? Now you can see here, Dativobjekt, meiner Mutter, den Kindern und dir. These are all the people and the people or the person itself is in Dative. Gefallen. Gefallen ist das zweite Verb und gefallen heißt to like or to please. And this one can be quite confusing when you translate it specially into English or also into other languages. But let's start first with the conjugation. Die Konjugation. Gefallen ist ein unregelmäßiges Verb, is an irregular verb. So the conjugation is irregular, usually in third, first, second and third person singular. Ich gefalle, du Gefällst, er, sie, gefällt, and then it's regular again. But again, as we had before with gehören, usually we only use it for the third person singular and plural, meaning if we just talk about one thing or if we talk about two things or more. Gefallen is used also for people. You can use it for people as well, but again, it's more common for things. So you can say, du gefällst mir, du gefällst mir, I like you, meaning I like your appearance. Or, I don't know, when you ask somebody, 
das Judgment, äh, gefalle ich dir, gefalle ich dir, do, do you like me, do you like how I look, these situations is okay, you can use gefallen for people, but usually you talk about things. And now you might say, but Luzi, there is this verb mögen, and mögen is so much easier to use, mögen, um, there is actually a different. In a lot of situations, you can use or you can substitute mögen with gefallen, but there is a difference between those two verbs, which I'm going to explain you later in my bonus tip, later in this video. Gut, Singular, ein Beispiel, Singular, das Bild gefällt mir. Das Bild, das Bild gefällt mir, I like the picture. Or you can also say, the picture pleases me. And this translation is probably not very common in English, but it's kind of closer to the German sentence. When we look at the sentence, das Bild gefällt mir, das Bild ist Subjekt. Gefällt ist das Verb und mir ist wieder das Dativobjekt. A normal translation would be, I like the picture. But actually, when you translate it literally, it's kind of, the picture is liked by me. Das Bild gefällt mir. So again, the thing, das Bild, is subject and the person becomes an object and is always in dative. So in English, I like the picture is normal, the person is subject, picture is object. But in German, it's actually the other way around. Das Bild gefällt mir, I like the picture, or you can also say like this, the picture is pleases me, is liked by me. Oder Plural, ein Beispiel im Plural, die Lieder gefallen uns. Die Lieder gefallen uns, we like the songs. Andere Beispiele. Meine Frisur, meine Frisur gefällt meinem Vater nicht. Meine Frisur gefällt meinem Vater nicht. My haircut, my dad doesn't like my haircut, my hairstyle. Oder die Farben gefallen Ihnen. Das ist ein Satz im Plural. Die Farben gefallen Ihnen. They like the colors. Oder eine Frage, very common question. Gefällt dir zum Beispiel der Film? Gefällt dir der Film? Do you like the movie? Gefällt dir is a very common question. And you can add anything afterwards. Gefällt dir der Film? Gefällt dir die Farbe? Gefällt dir das Buch? Gefällt dir mein T-Shirt? Gefällt dir mein Video? Anything is possible. So again, always the person is in Dativ. That's a dative object, and the thing itself is actually the subject in nominative. Diese Beispiele hier, gehört die Tasche dir, gefällt ihm, der Film, die Farben gefallen ihnen. These are all people, and we actually use pronouns for those people, and these are dative pronouns. That's why these dative pronouns are very important to know, and in case you want to know more or you want to review a little bit those pronouns in all three cases, nominative, accusative, and dative, then check out this playlist. I put a card here on top where I explain everything about pronouns in those three cases. Ein anderes Beispiel, one more example. Now we use two people. Lisa gefällt Hans. Lisa gefällt Hans. Hans. Now we have two names, so it's kind of tricky. You don't see what is subject and what is object. But usually with gefallen, you start with the subject. But now what does it mean? Who likes who? Lisa gefällt Hans means Hans likes Lisa. Hans likes Lisa oder Lisa is liked by Hans, kind of. Lisa gefällt Hans. Oder ein anderes Beispiel im Perfekt, in Present Perfect. Paris, die Stadt Paris, hat Nadine früher gefallen. Paris hat Nadine früher gefallen. Nadine used to like Paris or used to like the city of Paris. Weitere wichtige Verben. There are two more verbs which are, have the same structure, which are also quite common. 
Das erste ist schmecken. Schmecken heißt to taste. Usually when you talk about food. Zum Beispiel, a normal statement, das Brot schmeckt sehr gut. The bread tastes very good. There's no person involved, nothing. Das Brot schmeckt gut. But if you, if you involve a person or you want to give your opinion about this bread, then you say, das Brot schmeckt mir sehr gut. Oder das Brot schmeckt mir sehr. I really like this bread. Oder ein anderes Beispiel, ein anderes Verb. Das vierte Verb ist passen. Passen heißt to fit or to suit. Again, a normal statement. Die Jacke passt perfekt. The jacket suits perfectly. Aber, again, if you involve a person, die Jacke passt dir perfekt. If you want to say, say this to a friend of yours, huh? this jacket suits you perfectly. Die Jacke passt dir perfekt. Bonus Tip. Now I mentioned it before. The difference between the verb gefallen und mögen. Now, the main difference is, we look at examples. Das Bild gefällt mir. Das Bild gefällt mir. I like the picture. So I like how it looks. I like what it illustrates. This, what my eyes see, this is what I like. But if you say, ich mag das Bild, ich mag das Bild, then it's like, I really like this picture. And this is my personal feeling about this picture. Ein anderes Beispiel. Die Frau dort, die Frau dort gefällt mir. Die Frau dort gefällt mir. The woman over there looks nice. Oder ich mag die Frau dort. Ich mag die Frau dort. I like the woman over there. So here the difference again. If I say die Frau dort gefällt mir, if I use gefallen, then it's more about the look, about the appearance of this woman. I most probably don't know this woman. So I just, this is my judgment about what I see. Hmm, she looks nice or she looks friendly. But when I say ich mag die Frau dort, with mögen, then you actually know this person and you really like this person. So summarized, gefallen, you can say, is a judgment based on the look of somebody or something. When you look at something and you give your personal opinion about this, or also with your ears, so with your eyes or with your ears, then this is a quick judgment about something, then you can use gefallen. But if you use mögen, mögen, then this one is deeper. It's about your feelings. And usually it's about, it's more personalized. So gefallen is more superficial. Mögen is definitely deeper. Hausaufgaben, ihr habt wieder Hausaufgaben. Die Frage ist, was gefällt dir in deiner Umgebung? Was gefällt dir in deiner Umgebung? What do you like in your environment? Umgebung is right, your environment, what you see around you. What do you like or what you don't like? Was gefällt dir nicht? Schreib es unten in die Kommentare. Let me know down in the comments. I'm looking forward to read from you guys. Und in case you want to know more about Dative or you want to review a little bit the case Dative, then watch this video right here. And if you want to know more about all the personal pronouns in Nominativ, Akkusativ and Dative, then you can watch this playlist right here. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. I hope you like this video. Tschüss und bye bye.